okay first we have to go for any purchase order or requisition quotation and counter purchase order blanket purchase order planned purchase order these are all the document types okay all these document types would require approval whenever there is a document that has been created and which is having some value which is having some document value what is that quantity multiplied by the each price so that becomes value all the summation of all the lines together which is nothing but document value if that document value every person who creates the purchase order is a buyer buyer for a company will be having a limit of approval similarly buyer's manager buyer will be reporting to one manager or in the process of purchasing you would require one particular person's approval for every document type that you create simply you are clicking on approve button in the purchase order to get the approval right in case you have the limit of approval then definitely that will be approved in case if you are not having a limit of approval then it will not be approved instead it will go to the next level that next level how it is going to be decided that's what we are going to see we have to discuss the concept of hierarchies how it has been set up then first of all what are the different levels what is the limit of approval that's what we are going to see now first of all for that we have to go to the <coughs> hierarchies means first of all you should know the positions say we have different persons here let us take this is one person next person different persons are there okay this is the hierarchy how this hierarchy has been defined in the system i am going to explain to you the similar way the concept should be used for defining any number of hierarchies you can define n number of hierarchies say if i am buying raw materials for raw materials these are the people existing in the hierarchy and you would require approval for raw materials purchasing process procurement process raw materials procurement process you would require certain people approval those certain people will be arranged in a an order arranged in an order so order means see is the buyer see you can see here is person name and this is position name he is the buyer and after that this buyer approve creates the document and this person is coming under this position and this person works under this person or otherwise for this hierarchy we are going to set up a set up an hierarchy is the lowest level next level next level top level now if this person is the buyer he creates the document he approves then it goes to as per the hierarchy this is the structure we are going to define so that by default the document will go to this person but it's not person to person it is based on the position hierarchy when it gives if the following approval path follows position then it is position hierarchy if it is following the person name then it will be employee supervisor hierarchy we have three types of hierarchies one is position hierarchy that is very important next one is employee supervisor hierarchy it is very simple one next one is ame approval management engine which is meant for only requisitions okay now this is the first person and next person and next person final top level person let us say we are involving four people here so each position will be having a limit of approval means this position of course let us say is not having any limit means zero what other document is going to create that should go to the next level for approval definitely this person will be having a limit let us say 5000 
if the document value is 10,000, if he approves, then it will go to next level. If this person's limit is 50,000, of course, the document value is 5,000, so which is less than 50,000. So he will be able to approve and the document will not go to the next level. Simply from here, the notification will go to the buyer saying that so and so purchase order which has been prepared by you has been approved. When it has been approved, you can take the print and send to the supplier, receive the goods and invoice it. This is what is going to be happen. How we are going to set up? What is the setup required for hierarchy? Let us see. First, I'm taking this person. Okay. If you take this person, go into HRMS. Every person should be defined in HRMS. At the same time, that person should have Oracle login access, right? If you are a buyer, you have to create a purchase order from Oracle system. That means you should have an access for Oracle. That means you should have a username and password. How I am logging in? In see first screen, if I see here, we are logging in first. Then you are giving username and password, right? That username and password should be given to a buyer. Because if buyer wants to prepare a purchase order, buyer wants to prepare a purchase order, then you should have a user log login first of all. So what is that login? Let us see. For this employee, what is the login has been defined in the system? Let us see. The employee definitions will be done from the system administrator. If you go to system administrator, we have the navigation security user define I have taken from here the employee name is this right let us copy now I have to query because already we define f11 here the person name it is username and person name person name is different username is different so I don't know username but I know the person name if you know the username directly you can enter and control f11 if you know the person name but I don't know the username then go to person name enter the person name control f11 see this is the username okay let us copy this the username is this is the username okay let it be now Now, come to this person. This person's username is this. Similarly, I'll be having username for this person, this person, and this person. Quickly, let us take it. Okay, now this is fine. I've taken all the usernames. Now I have this is the position name, this is the employee name, and username. We have not seen the position name. I'm going to show you because I'm taking the employee name. Now I'm going to HRMS. Switch responsibility. HRMS. What is the responsibility? Human resource responsibility. What is that? Where is that? Let us see. This is the responsibility. Global Super HRMS Manager. So in this responsibility, I am going to see this person. People, enter and maintain. I'm going to here copy the employee name now full name find when you find 
when you find you can see go to assignments then you can see the position name and job name the position name I'm copying here take the position name. this is the position name. okay now for this person this is the position and this is the job name and if you go to supervisor see here the supervisor is that this supervisor is nothing but this guy have you seen so this is the supervisor okay I have taken the supervisor name and the username also now I close this I don't require any more details now I'll go for this person let us take the details of position control V find and go to assignments you can see the position name this is the position name. take the position name. this is the position right sorry this is the position now <clears throat> So he's also having supervisor. The supervisor is nothing but this employer. Have you seen this? So let us copy this. Now let us see the position of this guy. Find. Paste it. Find. So go to assignments. Take the position name. This is the position. Okay. Now so is the person who is the supervisor for this guy for this guy but it's not necessarily see here somebody else is there not necessary it is when you are going for position hierarchy it's not supposed to be your supervisor should be having the same sequence in the hierarchy because if you follow one to one as a supervisor if you are approving your supervisor should approve your document and that supervisor should should get the approval from each supervisor then that is employee supervisor hierarchy not a position hierarchy here we are giving the importance to position not to the employee name okay now in this process if he here approves it will go to the person it will as per this hierarchy for this hierarchy we arrange this sequence and if he approves the document will go to this person not to this person why is his employment is reporting to in, in this company is reporting to this person it doesn't mean that whatever he prepares Raj prepares and that document will not go to this guy for approval for approval somebody else is there that person is this guy now let us copy this let us see the employee now find two persons are there okay okay now go to assignments this is the job and this is the position Okay, what is the position? This is the position. Now, let us skip. I'll copy it, everything. Now, let us see how we are going to set up for these guys based on these positions, based on these positions. How we are going to set up the limit of approval for a position we have taken simply the positions here okay for these positions what is the limit of approval let us set up because every document whenever you are approving it is going to the next level next level in the sense as per this hierarchy what is the sequence and whether he is having the approval limit or not okay even though he is not having the approval limit it should go to next level 
from this next level from this next level sometimes what happens you know even you approve the document will go to directly here not to here or here why you might be having a limit of 50,000 you might be having a limit of one 100,000 that is 1 lakh and the document that has been prepared by this guy is 200,000 that means that means 2 lakhs so he is having only 1 lakh but when I approved as per the system I suggested in the system as per the setup whenever I approve system should check whether this document value is less than this particular person's approval limit if it is less than this go to next level by system you know by default so it should not process to this person's approval and even this guy is not having the approval limit let us say you prepared one lakh document one one hundred thousand worth of document is having only twenty five thousand let us say is having only twenty five thousand you will not be able to approve even though the document comes to from here to here even though this guy cannot approve so what is the use when he is unable to approve then he will open and he will approve and it will go to next level but he is having 50,000 limit let us say the document value is 100,000 so even this guy will not be able to but in order to save the time the document rather going to here and here so the document should go from here to here directly that's what as per the setup we are going to discuss now for every position there should be a limit what is that position let us see now okay so i am going for switch responsibility to the purchasing in the purchasing in the purchasing we have setup when you go for setup approvals and there is approval group and approval assignment these two are very important approval group is the first and approval assignment is next what is approval group if you want to see by learning you can see assignments and take the group names and you can check in the groups names and what is the limit and everything you can see now now Go to approval assignments. See, it is asking position name. That is the reason position hierarchy is having importance to only position. Because based on the position only, for this position, what is the document type that can be given access? You know, this position person, whenever you are assigning some document to this position, if that position is assigned to multiple people, all those people are eligible to approve this document. That is the meaning. Okay. Now let us see. For this position. For this position. Okay. Now find. This position. Might be assigned to multiple persons. There is one thumb rule. In purchasing. Whenever you go for approval hierarchies, one position can have multiple people, but multiple people cannot have same, sorry. One position can have multiple people, but one person cannot have multiple positions. That is the thumb rule. Here, one position can have multiple persons. Okay. So, one person cannot have multiple positions this is the thumb rule it's very important question first even or you say i have the experience in position hierarchy now tell me can i have multiple positions no it's impossible in oracle applications one person cannot have two positions okay now another question can one position have multiple persons? Yes, it's always. Okay. Buyer is the position. I can have 10 members as buyer. 
but the same buyer cannot be CEO. Simple. The same buyer cannot be GM. The same buyer cannot be finance manager. Simple. But as a finance manager, that position may have two people. Two persons are working as finance managers in a company. Yes, possible. But the same finance person can be a CEO? No. It is the restriction from Oracle. Okay. So this we have to remember because it is very important question. Now, for this position, these are the document types we have given the access. So whoever is the person having this position can create document purchase agreements, he can blanket releases, he can internal requisitions, he can purchase requisitions, he can standard purchase orders also can be prepared. Sim still, if you want to assign, we have different document types. All these document types can be given access for this position, but we have given only five. But we have here eight. Okay. So those three are eliminated, but except those three remaining documents, whoever is having this position can prepare. Okay. But for every document type, there is an approval group. Listen carefully. Very important. Approval group. This is internal requisition. This is BRI buyer PO. So take, let us take these groups okay buyer groups okay so this is another one let us take all the unique values this is another one this is another one let me take next one is this okay okay these are all the approval groups assigned to this position this person who is having who is having this position can approve this document with a limit of this group he can he can approve this document with a limit of this group what is this group let us see now let us go to groups first group is this right copy okay I want to find the group my group name is this okay fine when I say group name the group name total is see this is the approval group name when I selected that group it is showing the limit of approval is 100,000. See, this is a group. Copy. Then, if you find, you can select the group name. For this group name, there is a document total, account range, item range. Now let us understand what is this group. If you understand this group, that's it. That is the key point here in position hierarchies. When I take this position, this position is having a document total, account range and item range. Document total in the sense Whoever is having this position, what is the position? This is the position. And this position is assigned to a approval group. That group is this and this. This is another group. This is another group. This is another group. This group against one document type. This group against another document type. This group another against another document type. The same person who is having this position can approve different document types with different group levels and each group is having certain value of approval. 
this is what we are going to see here this is the group name approval group name just now you took four group names the first group i have querying here document total i am selecting here it is very simple from here only i am selecting first one is document total next one is account range next one is item category or item range or you can select item category range or location as well the company which is existing in this location for this location these are the people approval involved in approval for this location even though they are having the same limit of approval but that guy cannot approve for this location such kind of if the company is having multiple locations for one location some people only responsible for another location another people another person it is such kind of scenario like here the main purpose of document total is if the PO is a document what is the total of that PO and that PO might have come for approval might have come for approval for certain person the person who is having one position and that position might have assigned to one particular group that group name is this so for that group you can approve for the document total of up to one lakh if that PO is 25,000 then you should be able to approve see now account range what is the account range I told you while creating requisition while creating purchase order we have distributions in the distributions we are going to enter the account number that is charge account that is destination account that account can I approve all the accounts that's what you are going to tell here cancel this okay account range is see from 00 to Z Z Z okay means G G G so US people they call it as G UK people they use it to call Z okay so 00 G G so like that we have from number combination to alphanumerical combination okay so that means all the numbers means all the combination of chart of accounts I'm eligible means the person who is having this document limit like approval limit approval group against that particular position can be able to approve all the account numbers that you entered in the requisition distribution lines or purchase order distribution lines simple when you can see 002ZZ so it is simply unlimited access of chart of accounts not value value is simple it is limited that is one lakh that is hundred thousand simple and account range for these accounts and the limit is approval limit of approval is only hundred thousand again now come to third parameter is item range here if you see again for item range also it is hundred thousand and low value as one to z means what all the items that's what okay so g one to g means what from any number to any alpha numerical any number okay so that means all the items you should be able to approve the one who has got certain position and that position might have assigned to this group that's what we are going to see next that is what approval assignments we are going to assign this group against the position that's what approval assignments approval group is limit of approval setting up the limit of approval against document total or account range or item range or locations or item category category means what category from and to you will be having different categories right from which category to which category the person is eligible to approve this is what approval group like document total 
the purchase order that you prepare what is the worth that is nothing but document total is it less than 1 lakh or beyond 1 lakh or equivalent to 1 lakh that's what system going to check then what are the account you entered in the requisition distribution lines or purchase order distribution lines and that account is it lying between this account to this account this account to this account if it is coming yes he is eligible the person who has been assigned to a position and that position which has got this approval group okay item rates from all the items this is what approval group then the same approval group we are going to assign against the position because now i am going for this position what is the position of this person this person's position is this okay we have just now saw the approval groups right this one and this one i'm going to show you but this approval group has been assigned to this position how it is nothing but assignment of assign approval groups okay now position what is the position the position is this is the position okay select when i select this position for this document type the group is this for this group what is the limit we have just now saw the limit of approval is 100000 right so that means for this document type the person who is having this position can be able to approve maximum a limit of this group is 100000 simple Similarly, for blanket releases also. What is blanket release? We are going to discuss. Approval internal requisitions. Yes. For internal requisition, what is the? Let us take the group name internal requisition. Now, let us see what is the limit of this. Go to the approval groups. Select that. Fine. See? The person who is having this approval group got assigned to his position can be able to approve a document that is can be purchase order can be released can be blanket or contract anything but limit of see this is the limit billions okay similarly account range all the accounts yes between all the accounts 0 0 to gg means what all the numerical numbers to alpha numerical numbers with a limit of this is the what so similarly for the item range of all the items from 1 to z okay now with a limit of this is okay so for internal requisition that is the limit now buyer requisition this is another group now let us see this group the group name is this for this group whoever has got this group assigned to that particular position and that position might be having one person that person can approve a document total of 5000 max or account range for a limit of 5000 but account range all the accounts 0, 0, 002 z g g okay similarly item range what are the items all the items one to z with a limit of five thousand okay whoever has, whoever is the position which is having this limit that means this person is having see this person is having all these document groups means what the same position he can approve if it is standard purchase order one limit blanket purchase order another limit or planned purchase order another limit i can define and then i can have for the same position i can have different limit of approvals based on the different document types okay now we have to define approval group to decide the limit of approval based on the items category document total then whatever you define as an approval group that has to be assigned to a position because that position person can approve the documents okay with a limit of that's what we use set up in the approval groups fine i hope you understood now 
this is what similarly if you see this position might have assigned to another different set of groups see if you see now i want to select the position the position name is this see for blanket purchase order sc manager is the group name if you take this sc manager and internal requisition internal requisition will be the same limit for here or here whatever it may be okay now if you take sc manager copy this now go to approval groups now let us see what is the limit of approval the approval group name is this is fine see for this approval group the document total of 7 lakhs that is 700000 and account range for all the accounts this is the limit of approval okay now interesting point is here we have multiple category range say exclude means what it should not be the one who is having this position should not be able to approve for this category item category this is when the item category is purchasing and the administrator it should not be it should not be approved by this guy that is what i am excluding here include say this category of items any of the items which are having the categories of this you should be able to approve provided if you would have selected include and 2000 sorry 250,000 is the value document total you can approve in case this group okay this position has been assigned to this this group has been assigned to a position where the item category the item you selected in the purchase order is from one category this is the category then you should be able to approve up to 2000 sorry 250 000 worth of items only can approve in that document similarly for this category for this category we have the limit of approval of 700 000 so this is what for items see all the items one to j means one to g means all the items you should be able to approve 250,000 okay this is what first define the groups assign the groups to agonist position if you open the assignments it will ask the job position then what is the document type and what is the approval group you define that you have to set it that's it then once you define username and assign the employee to the username then in the employee definitions you should know what is the job and what is the position names you have selected okay what is the job name and what is the position name everything has been selected against each position what is the group name you are going to assign that's what assignment groups okay approval groups assignment you can see here we have in this document approval assignments and approval groups approval groups you are going to have a limit of approval then in the approval assignments you are assigning these groups to the, the position of respective person after this we go for approval hierarchy what is that hierarchy see position hierarchy you go to the position hierarchy when you go for position hierarchy here i have one position hierarchy what is the position hierarchy this is the name copy that now let us query f11 give the name control f11 when you query you got it but this form is complicated one see you have given the position hierarchy is there anybody existing no but 
this portion is different this portion is different so here i am coming here i have to enter the position name that you are looking for if i am looking for from this file i am looking for this guy okay or this guy or whatever it may be take the position of this guy what is the position this is the position now let us copy this okay first that position is already defined in the system it is see you cannot edit here but i can query here see this portion is different this portion is different it is a very complicated form in which two portions are there now i am giving the name of the position this is the name okay whether this position is existing in the hierarchy if it is existing what are the details let us see now i am querying control f11 see it is existing in hierarchy in the right hand side there is an up arrow at okay when you click up arrow that guy comes to below here and his supervisor is coming here his supervisor position as per the position hierarchy who is there that is nothing but this guy okay this guy position is this and that is coming here have you observed here this position position is as same as this position that means what we are doing exactly see just we clicked on up arrow that's it that guy this person's see this person's position is here okay this person position is here that is nothing but this okay when i click up arrow this guy comes down and the top guy above this guy will come here okay now i click up arrow see that guy has come down and this guy is having down arrow here if you click down arrow see that guy comes to up here then the the same guy is available here see this guy will be available at the bottom now this guy has gone to up okay see if you click up arrow again see this guy comes see the same position is there this is how i have to set if you click up arrow see this is the person this is the position name this is the position name so whenever you create hierarchy what you have to do is first you have to prepare this chart the way i prepared then take this position and simply query here okay now for this guy if you want to add the above position click on up arrow this guy comes down then here you have to add the name of the position that position you have to copy here and paste it here that's it this is how we have to set up or while setting up you will be setting up like this first i take not from bottom to top i will define from top to bottom how i will take first this position copy this control c now query here control f11 then when you query this this is top most position then click on down this lines and what are the position next to this guy means this position you have to call here see this is what we have to call then under this guy another guy is there so you have to take the position of this guy copy then click down arrow when you click down arrow this guy goes up and here we have to add that position again under this position we are adding this position that means what you have to do is click on down arrow so that this guy goes up and further you have to add here then save the record save the record then now it is very important there is an important point now because 
definition of the user assignment of the employee employee definition in which job and position and supervisor and the position should have a limit of approval for that we have to define approval group then we have to assign the approval group assign the approval group to the position by assignment approval assignments then we have to set up the hierarchy in which top to bottom you have to come so you have to select top position then keep on adding the subordinates under him by selecting their respective positions so after setting up all this will it work it won't work why there are certain concurrent requests to be run if whatever you define will not be effective will not work forever until and unless you have done you have done this request you have submitted this request the first request is view request submit new request click ok select the report name as fill employee hierarchy this is the first one you should run after setting up the hierarchy submit simple the next one is send notifications for the purchasing documents send notifications for the purchasing documents click ok submit ok this is the second one no close it now now what you have to do is the final request is from system administrator switch responsibility to system administrator here we have to run a request the request is you request submit new request click ok the request name is synchronize workflow local tables select synchronize workflow local tables then submit no fine requests will be running let us check it out see first request is fill employee hierarchy send notification for the purchasing documents synchronize or fill local tables refresh that's it once you run these requests that hierarchy that you have defined will start working that's it you have any questions